Certainly some of the most dramatic footage that comes from an IndyCar comes from the driver's helmet or the visor cam as it's known. In 2017, there were only three prototypes, but for 2018, there's now eight potentially available for broadcast. Go, go, go. Anytime you design something that would go on a helmet, obviously safety is going to be the number one concern. And historically, IndyCar safety data says most of the hits on a helmet come from the rear or come from the side. So therefore, this cable is actually strategically located sort of in that dead zone between the two. But what would happen if you really did have a direct impact on the camera housing itself? Well, IndyCar worked together with Bell Helmets and did a drop tower test. That's over 16 feet in height with a weighted helmet on top of this camera housing and it disintegrated. And with no ill effects, the structural integrity of the shell remained intact with no issues. The camera itself is very lightweight. In fact, it only weighs a tenth of an ounce. And it's done by BSI, or Broadcast Sports International. Of course, they do the rest of the cameras around the car. The reason it's so light is it's only the camera and the image chip itself. Like the other cameras, it doesn't have a motorized iris. It doesn't have a tape clear system, but it's super light and obviously, therefore, safe. Now the view from this camera at the start of the race is spectacular, but the problem that exists without a tape clear system, this view starts to get obscured as the race goes on. So that's the next engineering challenge. How can you keep this camera clear? One idea is take one of the tearaways that the drivers use to clear their own vision and have it in some way clear the vision of the camera. And one thing to keep in mind, if IndyCar decides to move forward, and implement the driver protection windscreen that might be high enough as an added advantage to keep the visor cam clear. Clear high, clear high.